Hi, um, this is Warp Drops, and I'm going to show you guys today how to um, get your app URL, if you're going to do that for some reason. I have no idea why you do that, but I'm going to show you how to use it, because I had no idea how to do it up until I'm just now, and I just figured out how, so I'm going to show you guys. So, um, it's pretty simple. It's going to probably take like less than a minute. So you're going to go into the iPhone simulator, and I'm just going to show this to show you that it works. And um, it's HTTP, this is for everyone, slash slash, um, iTunes. Door, I think iTunes.com um, slash apps slash either your app name or your developer name. So for me, this is warped apps. Okay, can't it can't open the page because it's not real. I'm just using this as an example. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, I'm just going to paste it right here because I have it pasted. So, um, I got this off of the Apple Resource Center, or not, or the, uh, Apple iPhone Developer Center. I just figured out how. Um, and I want to show you guys. HTTP colon slash slash iTunes dot com slash app slash app name, which is like... PC for me because I have a tip calculator currently in the app store. Um, back up. So you go over here and um, okay. So anyway, that's how you get your app name. So it's always iTunes. Uh, HTTP colon slash slash iTunes dot com slash app slash whatever or iTunes dot com slash app slash your developer name. So in this case my developer name and then it will be an app name that I have. PC. It has to be valid, meaning it has to be on the app store or it has to be a registered developer account. It can't be SpongeBob123. Um uh that's basically it.